Anyone and everyone that's ever plowed snow with an ATV or a UTV with a winch and a plow has experienced the same frustration as me, I'm sure of it. And that is when you raise up the, the plow, you don't really know when you're all the way up, especially if it's dark and you're plowing or you've got snow rolling over the top of the blade. You just can't see, so you raise it up, and a lot of times you're just cold and you want to be done. And you raise that up, and those, the winch is so strong that um, it can actually snap the cable. And after you, you know, repetitively raise it a little bit too far, it strains the, you know, wherever you've got a, a, a knot in this, in this rope or, you know, a, a bolt or a clamp on the cable, and eventually it's gonna it's gonna it's just gonna tear or rip off. And I think every seems like every third time I plow snow, I have to retie this rope, which is a lot easier than dealing with the cable. It initially came with a cable and dealing with the clamps and stuff when it's cold and dark and it's buried in snow, that's not fun at all. That the rope's been a lot better. I'm gonna try and solve this problem with uh, with a simple leaf spring from I don't know, some old junk truck or something. And also a cable, or I'm sorry, also a pulley. I'm going to mount the leaf spring on the front of this rack somehow. I'm going to have to, of course, you know, cut it off back here, and I'm going to mount it in the center so it's over the, you know, the hookup for the plow and centered with the, with the winch. And then I'm going to drill a hole in that leaf spring somewhere and hang this pulley so that the rope can come out of the winch, up through the pulley, and then straight down to the, to the hook on the plow, or the plow bracket. And so when the, you know, it kind of, when it reaches the, you know, the, the, the top level of capacity with the plow coming up, it's going to pull down on that leaf spring a little bit. You'll be able to see the leaf spring go down and also relieve that super tension that is created when that, when your, when your rope or, or, or cable is all the way in. So I'm going to try and put this together and we'll see how it turns out. So I've got my mock-up set up here and took quite a bit of thought, but I think the better way to go is to have the leaf spring facing upward here. And the reason is so that the tip of it is sticking up a little bit higher so that I can see it when I'm operating. When the plow reaches its upward capacity and the leaf spring bows down, I'll just be able to see a little bit better if it's facing up. I am going to hang the, the pulley off of an eye bolt that's got like four inches of thread on it so that it'll get it a little bit lower and a little bit closer to the to the winch so that my um, the degree of angle isn't quite so tight it'll be a little bit more gradual coming out of there and the roller guide probably would be almost better that was on there with the cables which I might end up switching out we'll see how it works if it's a problem I can always swap it right now it's just that solid rope guide on there which seemed to be working fine anyway I've got a one and a half inch piece of flat here by one quarter inch and that's going to go underneath these four ribs on my front rack so it'll be pulling up, and so I'm just going to drill a 3 8 hole in it right underneath the hole that's already in the leaf spring and put a 3 8 bolt down there just to clamp it on. Up here, I'm going to cut the leaf spring just above that. You know, not every ATV is going to be the same. I'm just showing you how I'm going to try it and, and, uh, and if it works. So I've got this extra bar coming up here on my front rack, so I'm going to cut it right there, drill a 3 8 hole right there, and I've got a J-bolt that'll hook under the bottom of the of that rack component right there and then I'll just thread a nut on top and I'm not gonna do anything on the front because I think that between the two of those it's gonna be it's gonna be really stable plus there's gonna be leverage when it pulls down it's gonna be pulling down right on those racks so I guess if it if it does happen to shift back and forth I can always throw a u-bolt or something on right there but I just don't think that's gonna be necessary and so here I'm gonna cut off the tip of the leaf spring where it's really thin and um, drill the hole a little bit further back that's also a 3 8 inch hole for that eye, that eye bolt. The eye bolt is just going to hook into the, I open it up a little bit. It's an eye bolt that I had. It's 3 8 by I think 4 inches. So my plan is to just uh, hook it on like that and then hang it right from there. And then my angle from the coming out of the winch will be pretty gradual.
here is assembled. I've got the pulley hanging off of the eye hook there. And I'm going to use a lock washer and a small washer underneath. Don't know if it's necessary, but don't want things to come off. And underneath also, I've got a, I've got a bolt there, so I'll be able to get, cinch that real tight. And then in the center here, same deal. It's a 3 inch by 3 eighths bolt that goes through the bottom of that plate and up. I'll tighten that down real well. The J hook, in order to hit the threads, I had to put a spacer in there. There's an old bushing from something else. Um, but if a person had two larger nuts, you could just drop those on. Uh, before you put the washer on there, but that bushing seemed to work okay for me. So that J hook, I think, is going to hold it on there real well. I've got everything tightened down here, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a few tries. I thought I better put my windshield on there too just to make sure I don't have any issues with steering. I did end up cutting off that bolt. It was sticking up a little bit, that J-bolt. So I, I trimmed that down. Seems to work pretty well. I guess if I had any concerns at this point, it would be that that leaf spring gets extended you know a little bit further down so it's kind of it's kind of being bent in the opposite direction but i think that's what leaf springs are actually de designed for you know i've been giving this a little thought ever since i tested it out for the first time and to be honest i didn't uh, i didn't think of this until <laughs> probably an hour later but i had that cut off piece of leaf spring left over and i thought wow maybe i should just slip that underneath where it's the seems like the point of where it's most likely to bend on the main leaf spring there so I'll show you how that works. You know, that piece left over was about six inches long and I centered it underneath right here underneath the main leaf spring and I think that was that's the solution I'm looking for I mean it works perfectly now I don't get that um, overextension of flex in the in the long leaf spring there and it firmed up the main leaf spring too, so it doesn't droop down as much when I'm first lifting the plow. So I think that is the solution to that problem. I'm, I was thinking maybe I need another leaf spring, and then it just hit me. Well, you have a piece cut off. Why don't you use that? So I think what I'm going to do, I'm not really crazy about drilling a, a hole in this point of stress here, but I might just do a quarter-inch hole right there and um, clamp the two together so I don't lose that piece if it you know were to bounce out of there. That made all the difference. That's the solution to the problem, the potential problem that I had here. So we finally got our first snowfall event of the year where I needed to plow snow, just a couple inches, maybe three inches in some spots. And so I put it to the test and it took me about an hour to plow the yard and it seemed to go pretty darn well. It, it worked as good as I had hoped that it was going to work. And there was even one point there where it had gotten built up with slush pretty bad. One of the first pushes that I did, um, I hit some slush underneath, and it stuck to the blade. So the blade probably ended up being about twice as heavy as it would normally when all that slush was kind of gobbed up on there. But in the end, the uh, backyard redneck engineering seemed to work out pretty well, and I am happy with it.